In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect and validate EU VAT business numbers from your WooCommerce checkout. I'm also going to show you how to tax exempt businesses with a valid VAT number from paying taxes. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Here we are in our demo store and currently I'm selling it to retail customers and B2B customers. However, for our B2B customers located within the EU, we want to validate their VAT number. And if their VAT number is valid, then we want to add a tax exemption rule for those particular B2B customers. For example, on our checkout page, we've got this option here where the customer can specify whether they want to claim a tax exemption. We can change the wording for this as well. And then here they just need to enter in their VAT number. OK, so if their VAT number is valid, then we want to remove the tax from their order as well. And they can just verify their information. OK, so once they enter in their VAT number, our system will double check to ensure that the VAT number is valid. And if it's valid, then we'll remove the tax from their order. OK, and you can build up on top of this. So, for example, you could say their VAT number needs to be valid and they need to be ordering from Germany, for example, and their user role needs to be a wholesaler. You can mix and match the different conditions. OK, and to achieve all this, we'll be using the AOVUP tax exemption rules plugin. So just head over to AOVUP.com go ahead and download the tax exemption rule plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the AOV up a tax exemption plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. Go ahead and click activate to activate your license key. Once you've done so, it will automatically redirect you to this add on section. And then from here, we just need to scroll down and go ahead and enable tax exemption rules here. OK, so I've already got it enabled. So now we can actually go ahead and create our EU VAT field. OK, so let's head over to tax exemption rules here. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to tax options here and we're going to enable our EU VAT field. OK, so under tax options, we just need to enable this tax exemption checkbox here. So I'm going to enable this option. And then for the custom label, we can add a description here. For example, I put I want to claim a tax exemption. Let's quickly head over to the checkout and I'll show you what this looks like. OK, so if we scroll down here, we've got this checkbox option here, which says I want to claim a tax exemption. So if the customer ticks this option, then they'll see this field where they need to enter in their VAT number. OK, so we're customizing this label here which is this one here. OK, and then in this section, we can add a custom message on a thank you page. So if a customer's tick the option which says they want to claim a tax exemption, then on the thank you page, once they've completed an order, you can add a custom message here. For example, you can link them over to a file upload page where they need to upload their tax exemption certificate or anything of that nature. So again, this is an optional step. Since we're already going to validate their VAT number, then personally, I don't think we need to um, bother with this step here. So we can skip this step. Okay. OK, and then finally, we're going to enable this option where it says show tax input field. So we want to tick yes so that once the customers tick this option, so they're required to enter in a valid VAT number. OK, and then finally, we want to enable tax validation. So we want to tick this option here. And then in the event that the tax validation fails, we can customize this message. So here you just want to direct them to basically reach out to yourself, right? Whether that's by phone or email, you'll enter in the text here. OK, so that's in the event that entering a tax ID and the validation fails for whatever reason. OK, and then for the validation mode, we will go ahead and select um, Viz validation. OK, so with this option selected, we'll automatically validate the customer's VAT number if they're located within the EU. OK, so what will happen now is so if a customer ticks this tax exemption checkbox and they're entering a valid VAT number. So let's pay attention to the tax over here. The VAT number is valid, then it will remove the tax. OK, and we can see the business detail here. So we can add an extra condition based on top of this rule here. OK, so for example, if we head over to tax exemption. So the first one is to make sure that they've got a valid VAT number, which we've already done. 
But here, under the tax exemption rule, we can build up on top of that validation. So we can say, for example, the user role needs to be, since we're logged in as admin, I'm going to select admin for testing purposes. And we can also select a wholesale customer role. OK, so for this demo store, we currently sell to retail customers and B2B customers. OK, but for the tax exemption rule, we only want to trigger this for our wholesale customers. So if a customer's entered in a value the VAT number and they've got a wholesale account only then do we want to tax exempt their order okay we can add additional conditions as well so we can say the user role needs to be either admin or wholesaler and then we can also say the country needs to be and then we can enter in a country here for example we could say Netherlands we can enter in all the EU countries here basically okay and we can just basically build up on top of this rule. So let's go ahead and remove this rule. Just to recap, our condition is on the option page, we specified that they need to have a valid VAT number. And here on the tax exemption page, we've specified that the user role needs to be either an admin or a wholesaler to be able to tax exempt their order. OK, so let's test this as a logged out user and see if our rule triggers. OK, so again, we can see the tax has been calculated. Let's enter in a valid EU VAT number. And here you can see the tax is still being applied. And again, the reason being, yes, the VAT number is valid, but currently I'm not logged in as a admin or a wholesaler. OK, so this is where we stack those extra conditions on top of our VAT tax exemption rule. And that's a quick and simple way to collect and validate your EU business's VAT number. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.